Welcome, welcome. Got all kinds of good stuff for you today. Can you hear me okay? Lots of good stuff. Can you guys hear me okay? Yes, fine. Yes. Great. Super duper. Okay. We will get started momentarily here. I was shoving stuff over into Big Commerce till the very last second there. So now I am sorting out what we're going to talk about out of my list, my box of assorted goodies. And we do have lots of goodies. Okay. All right. Let's get started here. Oh. <coughs> 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 Whoa. Hi, Betty McSorley. Hi, Betty Goswell. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Alice. So nice to have you guys all with us today. Hi, Selma. Mary R. Good to see everybody. Get everybody there. Andrea, nice to see you. Uh, if I missed anybody, I'm sorry. I think I've caught everybody. I'm scanning the list here. Okay, nice to have Alice back with us. We have missed you, friend. All right, let me deal with some of my biggest ones first. Actually, I'm going to deal with this one right here because I know I have people waiting on these. Here I have, sorry about my stacks in front there, but I have all of the shiny details stickers we've been waiting for. These are stickers that are sometimes used in hobby dots, but they're also stickers that are great for multi purposes. So this one, for example, is clear sticker with gold borders. Aren't those beautiful? So you've got that clear glitter and then the gold borders. Oh, they're fabulous on Christmas cards, but they're really, really nice on a lot of different cards. And this one has borders and little flowers on it. Trying to get them right up where you can see them, not get them so close that you can't see the detail. But you can see they're little tiny flowers. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful accents. This one has little ovals. This one has oval borders, and then it has little oval shapes. This one, oops, here's another gold one. Let's see. This one has like scallopy borders. I see these on a fair number of the kits. So it's got border stickers as well uh, that are scallopy, as well as those little scallop patterns in a variety of sizes. This one is ovals again. We talked about those. This one has hearts, pretty little. Uh, border stickers, and then various sizes of tiny hearts. Those will be useful. And this one, here's the squares. I know you were asking about the squares. There they are. Mary suggests using the round ones for flower centers. That's a great idea. 
Here's some corner stickers that are done in those same glittery with gold borders. Aren't they beautiful? Gorgeous. Okay, and then we have all the same ones in silver. Let me show you a couple of the silver just so you can see them closer up. There's the silver. Here's our squares. We've got the little tiny hearts. These are fabulous accents, guys, these little hearts. You can use those on so many things. They even have some that are about, when you actually peel them off, this, off the sheet, they're about an eighth of an inch or smaller. They're really, really tiny. They'd be great background filler and things, though. Really, really nice. These are adorable. Look at these corners. These are different than we had in the gold. They're smaller. Aren't they pretty? Here's the, these are teardrops here. They didn't have these in the gold. I ordered every style they had, so if uh, that they had in stock. So if you don't see it here, it's not likely I'd get it on the short term because here's the ovals. Because I ordered every single one they had. Here's those scallops in the silver. And these are more of the ovals. So, lots of shiny details in. I know you've been waiting for them. I appreciate your patience. You guys, um, occasionally I get requests for these. Um, I get them in different brands. Sometimes this happens to be Stanger. This is 3D um, glue. It's the best description for this is they don't make them in copper, Thelma, sorry. The best description I have for this is that it reminds me of caulking material. It's, it's, it reminds me of clear caulking like you'd use in your bathroom. Um, a lot of people like to use this. This is the actual craft one. It's not actually just the kind that you use with the big gun in your bathroom. <laughs> this is specially formulated for crafting, and a lot of people like to use these for their 3D buildups. In fact, you see it a lot on the um, craft television channels, the European craft channels. So we have that in stock now. Um, we tend to get that now and again, but I only have a few people who use it, but I keep bringing it back because I know that you guys like it. Okay, this is what's called a stepper card. This is now, this is from Craft Style. This is brand new. And they're calling this their version of a stepper. Can you turn me off in the lower corner, honey, so they can see these? This is a big card, but it's beautiful. Hi, Brenda. And you need to say hi to Roberta. Hi, Roberta. And Michelle. And Michelle. Good to see you guys. So this is brand new from Craft Style. When it folds up, it's in an, it's in a... Uh, C5 size, it's C5 envelope, A5 card size. I know those can be confusing. Just use them interchangeably, really, <laughs> unless you're buying just cards or just envelopes. So that's brand new. You can imagine how pretty that's going to be decorated, though. This is a C5. Uh, I need a ruler to give you a U.S. measure. Here's my great big yard stick within reach. Let me just grab that. <laughs> Talk about a big tool for a small job, but it in U.S. measures, this is eight and three quarters by five and three quarters folded. So this is now this is called the C5 stepper card. <coughs> Thank you. 
How many did you get in a you pack? Get five cards and five envelopes. Oh no, Brenda, I'm still with you here. <laughs> we have many new temptations. So far we've gone through, we looked at 3D um, build up glue. And we looked at shiny detail stickers are all in the system now. <laughs> that card intimidates you. It's big. Here's another big one. I've been looking at these on craft style for a while. And I finally just thought we have to do it. This one that we're going to look at next is an 8x8 eight eight stepper card. In this kit, you get... An 8x8 straight edge card, 8x8 envelopes, but then you also get this stepper piece. Now I'm being brave doing this on television or on stream for the very first time I've tried to fold one of these. I know what they're supposed to do. Let's see. This will create a stair step effect. That's one of those you're going to want to kind of gently pre score before you fold it entirely. Yeah, there we go. And this fits into the inside of your card so that when you open it, you get a stair step effect inside. Isn't that cool? And this one is called um, the 8 by 8 4 stepper card link. I think it actually goes like this. Anyway, so need to play with that a little bit more, but I could show it to you. I love the fact that they actually, sometimes you get these inserts, but they give you just the inserts. In this kit, you're getting the insert, the 8x8 card, and the 8x8 envelope all in one pack, which is pretty cool. Now, I did some of these way long time ago, not quite this big, but I did some of these eons ago, and I used the word love on the steps. I made rice a, what? Put it aside. Well, I'm just trying to put it away. All the crinkling we can't hear. I may, I used the word loves on the, on the steps, and then I did another one for a baby card, and I used the word baby on this step. Can you mail eight by eight in the U.S.? Sure, you can mail anything in the U.S. for the right price. They are going to charge you parcel rate. But, yeah, you can mail just about anything in the U.S. <laughs> now, uh, this one I'm not going to try and put together for you because you guys are familiar with these. This is a larger box card, which I think is really, really cool. It does come with an 8x8 envelope, but it's a larger box card. Now, sometimes when we're going to make box cards, hi, Adelaide. Um, when we're going to make box cards, it can be challenging to get everything into those little box cards that we've used in the past. And I thought this one was really, really a cool idea because you could use larger elements in it. This one is, it makes a large card. It's a five pack, and I remember the price on this one. It's the most expensive of the new ones. It's $6.99, but $6.99 for five big, beautiful cards with the um, that already have the bridges pieces die cut for you. All you'll need to add to this one is just your acetate pieces. You remember we use our acetate to actually attach our elements so they kind of float around there and they're on that clear piece <clears throat> but you're going to be able to make a lot bigger pop-up box cards with a lot larger elements with this one and i thought that was really cool 
Okay, here's another one. This one is another 8x8. Eight eight. Again, once again, we've got the 8x8 eight eight outside piece. And then we've got a very cool inside piece. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, it goes this way. And it goes... Did we just lose us? Or, no. Oh, you're going out to get them? Somebody asked for a question. I'm okay. going to look. For, so. Let's see. This one goes this way. This one goes this way. Where does it go? Hmm. Oh, there it is. There's one there. Okay. This is what this one looks like, guys. I can't see what it looks like. There we go. Here's this one. And it all folds up flat. And you're actually just attaching that piece in the center so that it all pops open when you open your card. Isn't that cool? We'll have to crease these to get them to go where we want. But it is really neat. These just have to be creased back good so that it opens fully dimensionally. That's going to be an impressive look, though, when somebody opens that up. Betty says those are great cards for people who have a problem reading small letters. Great idea. Great idea. Isn't that fun? I think, you have to correct me if I'm wrong, I shouldn't ever quote prices, but I believe that these are $5.99 for five cards. Um, you can find all these new specialty cards in craft style folder. Go to a, um, crafting A to J. Then go to cards and envelopes. And then choose craft style. And here's all the new cards. Okay, that'd be a beautiful wedding card, wouldn't it? And then I only got a few of these, but sometimes, like you guys said, sometimes you just want a bigger card. These are, this is a 25 pack of C5 or A5 cards with C5 envelopes. <laughs> The, this is, it folds to half the size of a piece of adorable scorable. So, and this is surprisingly affordable. I think this is $17.99 for 25 cards and envelopes. And I'm telling you that this pack probably weighs two pounds. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's a beautiful pack of cards. Now, I know that's not your preferred size normally, but sometimes you just want a big card. And there you go. There's times when I get a piece of, of cardstock from Hunky Dory that I just don't want to cut everything off of it. And using a big card would be really fun. Oh, that's a good one, Betty. The, the, the 8 by 8 cards for group signatures. Yeah. And uh, the C5s would be the same kind of concept. You'd have a card large enough for group signatures from all of us kinds of cards. We missed listing these when we did our little angels. What are Brittany they? found them downstairs and she missed them. What are they? This is 
Um, little Angels Acetate Diorama Concept Cards. They have the same beautiful Little Angels imagery that you can kind of see in the corner there, what we're doing with those cards. Aren't they pretty? And they've got that same beautiful imagery, the same gorgeous foiling, some beautiful shape cards here. And you get eight of these in a package. They come complete with the envelopes, with the acetate pieces, with, um, I think they have, yeah, it has, um, it's got double-sided satin ribbon. You get two meters each of four colors. So you, it's a pretty rich kit. It's beautiful. <coughs> We've also relisted. I don't think we've had this for a while. <laughs> All my stickers on it. I promised Brittany I wouldn't throw the stickers away. Last time I threw the stickers away and that messed up her system. <laughs> so I got to keep her little quantity stickers. This we haven't had for a while. We used this. I believe this is the one that we used when we did the... Um, Tattered lace cards, the layered um, tattered lace cards, where we did the um, die cutting together and then we clipped out some of the pieces to layer those cards up. It's beautiful. It might be a little darker than what we use there, actually. It's called. I think we use bubble gum. Uh, oh, yeah. Bryce says we use bubble gum. So this opulent orchid is, I think it is a shade darker than what we used before. I love this one. This is a Craft Perfect one we just got in. And this one, I'm going to take it out of the package so you can see without the without the, um, the shine of the packaging on it. I think this is just beautiful. This is called Emerald Hessian. And I can see using this as a background paper in so many things. This is just stunning, stunning paper. It's got that that emerald kind of color to it. The good emeralds. <laughs> emerald kind of color with that beautiful embossed kind of um, woven pattern in it. Isn't that just gorgeous? I love this paper. And I just got that for the first time. So I'm excited about that. I have another one coming up here I'm really excited about, too. I think it's the, the pattern on it's large enough we can see it through the packaging. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. This is called Copper Feathers. Those of you guys who are doing the bird kits, this is gorgeous. So very, very pretty. Oh, it would be fabulous background paper for bird cards. Just gorgeous. Really, really pretty. These are cotton handcrafted papers. They are 150 GSM, so they're fairly light which makes some great layering papers. You get five, eight and a half by 11 sheets to a pack. Beautiful. And this one I really like, it's also new. This one's called Cascading Hearts. And I like the way that the different hearts shine at different angles, isn't that pretty? It looks three dimensional, it actually is three dimensional. But it looks more dimensional than it actually is, just the way that it's just the way that it's printed on there. Really beautiful. And this one um, matches the forest animals theme. I'm not sure why I got it. <laughs> That's just the truth. I don't know. I I reordered some of the paper packs for the forest animals and. I guess I thought we needed this at some moment. Um, these actually will be um, pretty fun on some of the forest animal cards, though. You actually, in these cases, are going to make the words kind of your focal and then decorate with the dice and, 
images around the focal. Um, it does have some kind of fun things on it. No bunnies, perfect. <laughs> Great things take time to grow. And then on this side, I love this one. My heart has mushroom for you. <laughs> Nature's not on the internet. Stay clever. <laughs> Stay clever, little fox. <laughs> They're actually pretty cute. So, <laughs> okay. We've restocked a few things I want to run through real quick in the forest animals. I didn't. I don't think I got the frames last time, or if I did, I only got one or two of them. We restocked these. I love this. I think this is just going to be fabulous, especially if you start putting some of these wonderful um, forest animals papers behind some of these, and you can see that that's cut to or that size to exactly match those papers, which is beautiful. We haven't had this one for a while. Man. You know, it's in the deer family, therefore it's got to be one of my favorites. I love the moose. I think the moose and the two trees are absolutely great. I haven't had him for a while, and they got him back, and I had to have some of them. This one, I actually, if we still have that many left, I'm thinking this one right here, might have to be a Christmas and July project because remember the card I was telling you about that I tied the little tiny bows and used rhinestones to decorate it and that kind of thing. These are great fun to decorate. And this has a lot of little decorations already, but these are great, great fun to do. So I love that. I, I, I just think that kind of, detail work on a card is just great fun when you could just embellish them in all different kinds of ways that's a fun one look here you know how i am about the deer again look at here what's back we had this once before but it's been sold out for a long time there's a whole deer family and a couple more just really wonderful trees i love those you know i tell you guys that i that I try not to buy Christmas between January and April, May. Just failing. <laughs> if it's got a deer on it, I fail. <laughs> now, I have been playing with the, this one. Um, and I'm having great fun making these tiny little flowers. These are going to be really, really fun accent flowers with some of your bigger flowers guys this is a very affordable die super affordable i recommend picking up one of these and playing with it with your flowers now one thing i did do with this one is you see how these are just kind of like big silhouettes i clipped in a little bit into that after i die cut them i clipped these petals in a little bit so that i could round them and and shape them with my shaping tool. We might just have to drop this into one of our uh, one of our flower making classes at some point in the near future, because these little tiny accents work just great with your bigger flowers. So if you guys think you might like to add that to one of our flower making classes, that would be great. This is another one that I'm really, really excited to get. And you might think bugs. Why would I want all those bugs? Well, you want those bugs because some of these bugs are going to look great on your cards. First of all, we've got this gigantically wonderful dragonfly. Remember that opal blaze we used on the Hortensia cards? Imagine putting that opal blaze on that dragonfly. That is absolutely gorgeous. And then we also have on here ladybugs. We have little dragonflies. We have little butterflies. We have a side-facing butterfly. We have a, a you know an open several open-wing butterflies, smaller ones. We have a ladybug in flight. This isn't just bugs. These are cool bugs. <laughs> and we also have. And an embossing strip, I'm not gonna call it an embossing folder, well it technically is. It's like a one inch wide 
um, five. I'm gonna say. Mm, let me get my ruler out here again. Not <laughs> my great big ruler for my little job. The actual embossed part of this design is about six inches, so it will reach across to either a, a, a US A2 card or a European A6. It will reach clear across there with the with the embossing pattern, and then you also get this fun little die with a with a place for text in the center. This die is about two and a half inches around. You can either use it as an aperture die and cut into your card, or you can cut this out separately using that separate ring on the outside. This is really neat. These are dies for stamping, embossing, and cutting. Really, really fun and very versatile. I love to put bugs on my flower cards because that's a very natural thing to do. And I really, really love that huge dragonfly, but I'm kind of a dragonfly person too. So everybody wish Lauren a happy birthday. Today is Lauren's 22nd birthday. We're having a birthday party for her here in just a little bit. It will just be us with some Zoom features, but it's okay. Um, you guys said that you wanted some sparkle um, kits, so I brought you some. This one's number 11, sparkles. We were talking about the patterns for sparkles. See the little Xs? That's what's different about a sparkle kit. And some of you guys said you love doing these. Laura doesn't love doing these, but and she likes the dot and do. But some of you guys have said you really like doing these. These here's our imagery for that one. That makes great masculine or feminine cards. They can see how small the X's are. <laughs> He's over here, sing hand signaling me. Mom, you gotta tell him this. Okay, this is number four, Sparkles. Can you move side. my... No, you move your hand over where it belongs. Okay, so there's one of the patterns. Here is the design for that, kind of orchids and tulips, beautiful. And here is... Another, this one's uh, number six, Sparkles. Hi, Glenn, welcome. Here are the cutout images. Remember, these have cutouts. If you don't want to do the fussy cutting, in many cases, we have push-out images in the same patterns. So you can always go pick up a push-out image. And here is number 52. They give us a different view on this one, which is kind of nice. You can see what the three patterns look like. I got this several. Uh, this one's number seven. There's the images. Here's one of the patterns. You can't really see the detail at the top the way they've done them but you can see at least one of the patterns okay and this one is number 26 i love this one this one's so cute oh my god this one's really cute okay <laughs> sorry Got distracted there. <laughs> I didn't see this one because Brittany listed it. Look at that flamingo on the bottom of the palm tree and that absolutely gorgeous owl and the butterfly. And they've kind of done those butterflies and owls and things and almost kind of like a button design. They are just cute as a button, I got to say. Yeah, look at this. You can see on the butterfly here. The kind of pattern they put into that. That is just cute, I just gotta say. That's number 23. Here's number 
Aren't they fun? And the fussy cutting's not bad at all on this one. This one's, if you look at those floral designs, we have lots of rounds and then just very rounded petals and stuff. This would be easy fussy cutting on this one. And, oh, I love this one too. Can you guess what that's gonna be? Kitty or puppy? It is number 16. Kittens and puppies. Not that anybody in this crowd likes kittens or puppies, mind you. <laughs> okay, so those are our new sparkle kits. Quite a few of them. Okay, getting ready to do our um, our Jamie Rogers. We have that coming up. And I'm starting to stock up on stencils that I think you guys will like with Jamie and other projects. Look at this one. Isn't that gorgeous? Kind of a watercolor floral sort of thing. That is beautiful. Beautiful. Arrow down, please, honey. This one, I hope you can see it okay through the packaging. Yeah, you can. This one is called Stencil Geometry. This one is called Fancy Flourishes Stencil. Yeah, you're all anti-pets. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> and I love this one. Oh, isn't that beautiful with the butterflies and the text? That's gorgeous. Imagine getting that beautiful Jamie Rogers ink going with these stencils. This is going to be great fun. Great fun. Oh, did that look just like Molly? It probably, I think it did. Eh, not quite so much. But yeah, fun, 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 fun. There we go. We got that. We got some new heartfelt creations. Okay, we got the new stamps. These are fairly new. This is dahlias and dahlia leaves. There's the stamp. Yes, I am going to put a stencil in the Jamie Rogers kit. We'll have one, and then um, I will link you to the additional stencil sets that we have. They're fun. Maybe a little hard to see. Okay. And um, oh, you use your bifocals to do those those little dot and do's, huh, Roberta? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. I can't imagine going through life without pets. Okay. So here's the stamps. And then there should be some Dahlia dies here. Yeah, here they are. Here's the Dahlia dies. And then here's the Dahlia shaping mold. Let's pull it down. You can kind of see it on the back of the packaging a little better. So we've got Dahlias. And I've had this one before. I just restocked these because I think these are going to be fabulous with our roses that we've been making. We can um, make a larger leafy accents as a background for our roses. We have the one rose piece that comes with them, but I thought this die and this shaping mold might be appreciated by some of you. I know I'm going to get this one to, to work with mine. Um, just a larger shaping mold and a larger die to go with my roses. You can always, if you don't want to use these great big pieces, you can always break those apart, but it just gives you so many more choices with your roses. So I'm loving those leafy accents. This is not a new set from Heartfelt Creations. It's an oldie but goodie. <laughs> Okay, then there's a smaller dahlia. 
this is the smaller one? I may be mixing these, and if I am, I apologize. There's two sizes. This is, oh, I know what this is. This is the leaves. I got this one because it had the dahlia leaves in it. And then here is, maybe she just gave me two of these. Oh, I can, I mixed them. That's what I did. Okay, here's the leaves. Sorry. Here's the dahlias and the leaves. So that's one die set. Here's the dahlia and the stamp. And then the dahlia shaping mold has both the flowers and the leaves. That's the pansy. There we go. There's the dahlia shaping mold. And it had both. Okay, I, got, I confused myself there for a minute. This one we've just been out of for a while. I just brought it back. The pansy shaping mold is wonderful. I believe we still have the um, we still have the dies in stock, but I just brought in some more of the shaping molds. And by the way, Mary R, I now have purple band aids. I'm going to put them right here next to my work area. So when I manage to gouge myself with the various crafting implements, I have my purple band-aids here and ready. So thank you very much for sending me purple band-aids. <laughs> it's sad that I have to have such a thing, but it's wonderful that I have them when I need them. <laughs> okay, I'm going to peel the tabs off of this one so you can see this Dahlia's paper pack. The paper pack itself is gorgeous. So thank you, Mary R. The package finally arrived, and it was wonderful that you shared purple band-aids with me. Okay, I wanted you to see these because they're just so pretty. Here's our Dahlia paper pack, and you know, it's two-sided papers. I'll go slow, but... Yes, Mary R. has heard me say, ouch, one too many times online, and she sent me purple band-aids. <laughs> oh, I believed you. <laughs> Aren't these just spectacular? Can you imagine what you could do with these? Here's some pop-up boxes for you guys. Here's some beautiful card designs we'll get to the back here and we'll have some layering elements and things too uh see this right here i think this would be a spectacular base for one of your boxes uh, the official band-aids of the purple people's house yes exactly these match the cutting dies that we just showed or you can use the other side. There's the big dahlias. Look at those beautiful background papers too. Here's the actual ones that are already sized and um, created like they already have the mats on them for the for the paper, uh, you know, for your card making. Or we've got beautiful backgrounds on the other side. Just yummy. Here's some six by six card bases or album pages. They do such a fabulous job with their paper pad set, heartfelt creations. They really do. Look at the colors in these guys. Oh, so vibrant, beautiful. Look at all these tags and things they've already created for you. All the accents you could want, whether you're making pages or whether you're making cards. Beautiful. There we go. That is the new Heart Shop Creations Dazzling Dahlia Collection. I also have... I don't know if any of you guys' maths are getting as messed up as mine in your... Um, 
as get, uh, getting as messed up as mine is in my um, press to impress, which we have back. Our, crowd, our stamping platform is back. We have replacement mats if you need them. We also have additional um, magnets if you need them. This is a pack of four. They just stack them. This is a pack of four magnets to go with that if you need additional magnets. Beautiful. Okay. I can't show you the card for tomorrow night yet because I don't have it. That's on the agenda for late tonight and tomorrow <laughs> to design that just-in-time card creation. These are coming up on Sunday. Saturday. Saturday. Thank you. Saturday. Beautiful. I have finished making up some more roses so that I can create my cards with you, together with you. I made up some more flowers. We're going to do seven cards from the Little Angels collection. You can use whichever color flowers you want. You don't have to use the same colors I did. I think most of these colors are in your packs, but you don't have to use the same colors. In fact, some of my ones for my new cards will be different colors. Do I sell this clear container? This one? Um, I think this is just like a sterile container I got on Amazon, to tell you the truth. Mary, it's, I think you could get it on Amazon cheaper than you could get it from me. So I'm going to let you get it there. I think I got like a bundle of six of them at a time or something when I got them. Here's our. So these are coming up on Saturday. We'll use the flowers we've already constructed. We will not be making more flowers in class. We're going to use the flowers you already have ready to go. Oh, that's a good idea for your UD. Yeah. So you have some flowers ready to go for these guys. Might go back and take a look at these cards and kind of get an idea of some of the sizes maybe you want. Although even the sizes are entirely flexible. Now I do have all seven here. I thought I don't have, have all seven of my cards, but I do. They're all laying here. You'll get in your kit, you'll get the stamen, these pretty sparklies. These are actually flower centers that I repurposed. You'll get the rose hip that we have on this card. You get the stamen that I have on this card. Then you'll get the papers and the mirror board and your card bases and the different sizes, and of course the little angels kit, you'll get those. So there we go. This is what we're doing on Saturday. Tomorrow we're doing our multi-layer scenery stamping. This is just my one from last week, but we're going to do our multi-layer cards, having our mountains and things in the background, then we're going to layer up and add our new nature stamps to them. It's going to be great fun. So if you have your nature stamps, be ready to go with that. Good stuff. Do you guys have questions, comments, or pearls of wisdom? Anything you want to know about before we sign off and go party with Lauren for her, have her birthday dinner and her birthday party. What size is that one? Oh, this container? This container is... <laughs> it's so funny. I measured everything with a yardstick. I use the tools you have available at the time. Seven and a half. Outside dimensions are seven and a half by 13. And I don't know if the measure... Yeah. By 13. Seven and a half by 13. How deep? Uh, huh? Oh, and deep. And it was four and a quarter. I was looking to see if it actually says what brand it is because I usually take the brands off 
So, yes, it bugs me that I can't see my stuff through the labels. I think it was Sterite, but I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, they're very affordable on Amazon, and I can't touch some of that stuff for the same price Amazon can do it, so I don't try. But I do like this container a lot for my – I've got all my flower-making stamen and petals and stuff in there. And it's hard side, so I don't have to worry about anything getting squished. We don't have a new Margie's mix this week. I told Margie I want her to hold off a week so we get done earlier so we can birthday party. Lauren, Margie does have a new Margie's make ready to go. And Brit's Bargain, yes, Brit's Bargain. Brit's Bargain, I haven't put it up yet, but Brit's Bargain this awesome. week is on Hunky Dory Masks their stencils so i'm going to have a ginormously wonderful bargain on hunky dory masks so their stencils so that is going to be brit's bargain i will put it up here shortly i get in such a frenzy about not putting up the new one and leaving the old one up long enough you guys can get it that sometimes i don't get it up before we come on <laughs> on the live stream but i'll get it up for you here in just a few minutes so we will have brit's bargain ready to go thank you for reminding me roberta uh, if you haven't given us a thumbs up i sure would appreciate it if you do that and you guys have a great night and we will see you tomorrow for scenery stamping, our final one in this series. So we'll see you there. Good night, guys. Good night, Gracie. <laughs> I almost forgot my great my great.